Good morning, hill poppers. Welcome back, Kajj Expeditions. What a beautiful, beautiful morning we have today. Yes, indeed. Finally, for once, we're going to get a jackpot day, as I like to call them. So, we have now parked up uh, in the Newlands Valley in a little village called Little Town. And we are going to do the Newlands Horseshoe. Uh, so, yeah. That behind us, that's probably the last hill, I would imagine. So, I just. Uh, there we go, just as the sun is coming over that hill there, which will be the first one of today, which will be the much loved and much famous Cat Bells. Um, and one day this week, wasn't it April 4th, something like that, um, they do the thing called Light Up Cat Bells. You might see me if you've been in the uh, Facebook groups where they light it all up and it gets many people walking up and down it. Looks quite smart actually. But uh, we haven't done that. So anyway, so that's where we'll be heading up. That's the first one. We can't see the second and third ones. But well, I don't think it's the others. But I think that that'll be that's Robinson there. That'll be the last one. And then we'll come all the way down that ridge line back down to the car. We are just parked down there. So just a little start off video. I'll check it on the summits and I think I'll throw all this one together and bang it on YouTube. So, look at that, beautiful. Ciao for now, folks. See you soon. Here we go folks, the first one for today, cat bells, I have been up here before, with uh, Roberto, oh they were blowing when that they were rubbing, thank you, that's the last, that's the last high mountain ever came up, but it did do three big ones, it did this and the other two, so, uh, where's that trick point? It is stunning. We will be heading up there, Maiden Mirror. Then there's one behind it called High Spy. Then we will drop down about 150 to 200 down to Dalehead Town, which is behind that, you can't see it. Then back along and up to Dalehead, back up and along that ridge line there, come out to that summit there, which is a uh, hidden scarf, then go back inwards, then drop down the gully there, back up to there, which will be uh, Robinson, then come back down that ridge line there, all the way back down to the car. So we are parked down there. Oh, you can see the car, we can see the car. Little town. That over there, that'll be Grisdale Pike. So that's, that's the beast, that's the Coldale Horseshoe. That's the 15 mile that me and Pamela did. Shiny name the beast, which it was. Like you said, I'm going to eat a link after. Let's get to the tree. Lion. Like, don't like. It has one of them things on top of it. I don't say what everything is, no far away. I'm not blind, I can't read that. Right, don't flight. Are we on? Can't tell. Cut those forks, jump for now.
Hello folks, welcome back. Just a quick one, we are now on top of the second one for today, which is a maiden moor, and, and it is a moor. We have struggled to find a trig, so we found a little rocky outcrop, which we're calling the trig. Maybe, maybe there's no power stones on top of this one. But some other people, they've just gone right through, you know what I mean, they've just like, I'm spinning, spinning around in circles trying to find it on the map, but you never know, God knows. So we'll, we'll, we'll call it this. So, next objective. Up there, you can just see that big trig point, it's a real big pillar on top of that one. Um, up to High Spy. Then we'll go off the back of that, drop down that gully over there, and then up there to Dale Head. Round that ridge line, over to that one there, Hind Scarf, then back on ourselves, down another gully, up to get that one there, Robinson. And then down that ridge line there, into Little Town. Cracking day. Number two, bagged and flagged. Let's go get a high spy. Ciao for now. Hello folks, here we go, so now we are cracking off number three for today, uh, which is called High Spy, and has a very big trig point on it, Let's it round. so you can see it there, let's just see, show you where we've come, well you can't really see cat bells now. Probably made a mover over, well, probably over there somewhere, so you can't see what we come over. Eastern Fells over there. Ah, da, da, da. So let's go and get high spy. Crack in there. Jackpot there, that's what Kudji calls it. Perfect. Just that little breeze just to keep you cool when you get a bit of a sweat on. That munching up the hills. As I said before, I've been up here before. Me and Roberto did these three, and but then we went down now uh, off to the left and found like some disused um, slate quarry caves. Having a look about in there, and then back along a trail, and that's when I got Castle Crag. First time which we were up a bit last week or week before. So here we go. Like them blood. Here comes Pam Pam number three for today. Pam will get six in total for today. I'll get the extra three. Here we go. Bike the flag. Ciao for now folks. See you soon. Welcome back folks, 
down, hit the time. We'll just come down about 150 off. That's fine. Now we just have the small mat to we're going back about up about 200. Yeah. Two down head. Bike and flight. The same. Mm -hmm. Hello mountain munchers, welcome back, Hudge Expeditions, bit of a mountain munching moment now because we now welcome Pamela into my club because this is now Pamela's 170th win right so into, into the 170 club I welcome her open arms. Come here darling. Super proud of her. She's felt a bit queasy today. But she sticks at it. At the end of the day, it's, it's tough, isn't it? You're up here. You just gotta keep battling on. So yes, here we are. Top of Hin Scarf. Bagged and flagged. 170 for Pamela. 170. Oh, what is it for me? 175 for me, I think. 176. But we can show you where we've been. So we kicked off the day over there on Cat Bells. Then up to there, Maiden Moor. Over there, High Spy. Then we dropped down to Dale Tyne, Dale Head Tyne. Then boom, right up to that, Dale Head. A bit of a zapper, and all the way along there, 
Hunger, right? Come up to here. And we have now one more to do over there called Robinson. We'll head back out there, drop down to it right into it, Col. Up like that. And then, can't see it from here. Then we'll just drop off down that midline line down there. Then back into the valley where we parked. Stunning. 360. Jump now, folks. One more to do. Click on video from up there. And jump will be okay then. Welcome back folks, I'll tell you what, the one thing I don't like, you know what, I mean, it's a bit selfish, I hate busy summits, thank all the hiking, do you know what I mean, don't bother, fucking ants everywhere, <laughs> but anyway, that's the way it is, I just like the summits to myself, I don't know why, <laughs> so here we go, the sixth and final one today, Robinson. There we've got grass more. That monster me and Pamela did about a month or so ago. Went all the way around the top end uh, of uh, the beast horseshoe. Come up water down there. Up to me over down there in that dip. Lovely vista. God, Dale Healthy, Dale Head seems so far away over there. Hints go across there where we've just been. We'll be heading off down there, a couple of miles there, down the top car. And there we go. Well, Bob, see the FW Little View of those. Ciao for now.
Well done, Mr. Munchies. This is the end of the hike. So a quick look back on the Newlands Valley. We have been all the way around.